get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Yep. Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I found. Harry Potter. Four, actually five, but then one is not really actually a story, Harry Potter. But four Harry Potter games. The first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Of course, the af all the ones after were not there, because of course the GameCube was done after that. It seems only yesterday she was in here. But still, oh, it's gonna be something. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice one for charm. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I'd say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Yes. Well, let's get started, shall we? If you're kind. Oh boy. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. This is a throwback. A like, pick it up. To my childhood. Let's see if it likes you. Nice. <laughs> Cuz that is how it uh, also was in the movies, you know. The flashing icon in the corner, well, we already know. Come on, we've played these type of games. How do I leave this? There we go. Beechwood and Nice! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a beautiful sound. Dragon heart string. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Well, we already know it's this one. Those are weird Stand popping sounds in the game, but alright. Try your one. We're a little lower. So where do we need to try it out? Because I think it's a heart string. Because Harry Potter had a heart string wand. So could be there only could be one. And that is this one, I suppose. So whoop. So, how do we cast magic, my sir? Let your one choose at your Elever One shop. I know that. Just put this a little. Not the screen. There we go. And of course, we gotta have background music because, eh. The music in these games were not that spectacular. So, but where do I turn it out? What? <laughs> Do I just stand here? Oh, there you go. My goodness. Definitely not. Oh. Alright. That's a little strange then. But that was. Beechwood and Dragon Heart String. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. No? Alright. So they're all they all have heart strings. Or uh dragon, dragon heart string. Heart string. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. They're all the same. Really? What? <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one because that's a. Pick it up and let's see if it chooses you. Holly and Phoenix feather, eleven inches. 
nice and subtle. Oh, now it's different. All right. Well, we already know that's not the one. Wait, what? But Harry didn't have a phoenix feather. He had the dragon heartstring in his wand. Curious. How very curious. Or am I wrong here? Sorry, but what's curious? Well, Voldemort also had the same wand as you, but Mr. well. <laughs> every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Ah, yes, 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 yes. It's right. I'm the one that's wrong. It is very curious. Because I have, uh, on Pottermore, I am actually a Hufflepuff, and I have uh, the Beechwood, or no, Finewood, heartstring, 12 by a half inches. So, it's cool. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named do great things. True. Terrible. Yeah. But great. Yes. Yes. the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. You basically get the first spell, so you can actually do something here. <laughs> well, hello there. Oh. Um, alright. Why with the base, though? Vomit flavor. I know how this game works. I played this game as a child. I played quite a lot of games, uh, Harry Potter games, as a child, actually. So that's kind of cool. Alright. Nice! Ugh. Uh, it's yuck. Grass flavor. Mm -hmm. Why are you eating all of them? You don't need to eat all of them, you doofus. Who curry? I like that one. Mm. Coconut. Nice coconut. There we go. Because I see some uh, smicky down there. But I want these. What's with the base, though? The heck? There's that's uh, those are some sounds on the side that have just broken. Yeah, broken sound. The heck? It's not my headphones, is it? All right, got these. You know you can jump, right? Do I really have to go all the way over here? Alright. Where is that, that guy? I think the guy is actually dicking around. Nice. <laughs> Come on, man. Get up. And go. No time to waste, Harry Potter. The sound just doesn't sound right. And it is from the book. Nice. Oh, that bass boosted. <laughs> so also sound effects has to be quiet down. Once you learn 
possible than other things. You'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. Alright, now you're gonna learn that you have to set them to a certain thing. There you go. He's on B right now. If you come. Nice. And down you go. <laughs> there we go. Save it. Because those are not nice sounds. Green Heart Bonner and Flounder Stone, save file. Yeah! But I like this game though. I like all the Harry Potter games actually. Just because they're. They're a callback, you know, they're the good old day of Harry Potter. Can I go even slower, my maid? My boy. Oh. Nice. Yuck. Grass flavor. So at least our ears won't be exploded. Because of course it doesn't really matter. Only the voice acting matters in this game. Nice liver. <laughs> oh, some more? Yes, some more. Because these will be the currency. Oh, secrets! Where is my currency? There we go. There we go. But can we go under here? Yes, we can. Magic card? Magic card! Nice! A wizard card! There we go. Falio Maggie, inventor of cheering charms. 1447 to 1508. Inventor of cheering charms. Nice. Alright, alright. Why is he already wearing the rope, though? That was not in movies. <laughs> well, all of this was not in the movies, but you know. Whoa. Oh. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Oh, really? But it will just not go somewhere. Sometimes the answer to the question isn't it. Harry can see more of the world when you hold down L. You can make him look around by moving a control stick. Do some little cages down here though. No sink can only mean one thing. They cannot look everywhere though, and that that sound is really annoying. Gotta turn it down even more. Jeez, that sounds annoying. There we go. Speech is the most important thing once again, so Because damn, that sound is annoying. And loud. Yep. GameCube, Harry Potter, the very first one. Create safe file created on 2017. Man. 
I'm not cast spells though. Well, I'm in there. Yeah, but he will only target one though. He can he doesn't go to the next one. So bruh. This is completely different. Target the shields and flip endo. No shit. <laughs> Work out the correct combination to unlock it. I know that, but. You need to. Can he not move between? There we go. But how do I go to the second one? This is not the one I need. But as you can see, it will already go there. See? <laughs> what? He just uh, he just does it random. Really, you cannot even target between the targets. You don't need to lock onto that one. You need to lock onto the other one. Dumbass. No, not that one. See, now he locks onto it. No. 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 There we go. That targeted system is weird. Do have to say that. That's a strange targeting system. It may be wise to collect the folio blue tie. Huh? This is Folio Brutide, Book of Beasts. This book shows the name and appearance of each beast you may encounter in your adventures. The Folio Brutide will teach you their strengths and weaknesses. Ah, uh, this book. I already know this one. We got the Imp. And that's it. Nice! Yup, that's it. I already know how to fight against Imps though. It's not really that difficult. Literally. Well, hello there! Sup? See, he already tells you how to fight them, actually. Now. Most of the time you just do this, actually. You don't really need to target onto them. Of course it's easier, as you can see. Pick them up. And that's uh, right in there. Whoop! Got him! Get out of here. Little worm. Why is that sound still so loud? I don't know. First things first. Secrets. Ah, yeah. Another wizard card. A wizard card. Awesome. Alberta Tutti. 1391 to 1483, winner of the All-England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430, famously overcame the favorite Samson Wibley with a blast of the curse. 
All right, all right. Nice. Blasting curses are not that nice, though. Got to say that. Because it's a curse. Of course, you have different curses. Not only the forbidden ones, but still. One uh, probably has a chocolate. Oh, there you go. Just saying. They're probably both, actually. A pumpkin pasty. There you go. How does he actually already know what they are? It's his first ever encounter with all of this. Huh, how do you already know this? What's up? Learn how to cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shear on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Okay. There we go. Not that difficult. Well done, Mr. What is your store made of? Jeez, man. <laughs> what happened? Your store was just all once, wasn't it? And now it's a complete labyrinth. Ah, there we go. Now we got the uh, hold down. Wrecked. What? Is this what I mean? It's just a little small store. What happened? What's all of this? Okay. Nice. I need to time it right. There we go. Alright. Alright. <laughs> that just came out of his uh, coats. There are 101 wizard cards to be collected and traded. Increase your stamina bar by filling pages in your folio, Maggie. Go to the Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Well, he's the creator of uh, Hogwarts and, of course, Gryffindor. Then we also have Salazar Slytherin and the other two. <laughs> Look at that bird. It doesn't even... Oh, there you go. It doesn't even move. But it did. All right. So at least it's alive. <laughs> ah, poor Hedwig. We all know what happened. At least people that watched Harry Potter all the way through. All right. Here we are. Hawk works. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Wicked. One by 
one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Let me smash. Yes, Larry, welcome. And already thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. You could be great. How you doing? Gryffindor! Hey, Harry! Hello! I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So You're a scrub! <laughs> you literally break your wand the second year! Nice! Walking Dead! Well, sometimes you just need it. Chill day. They were not that nice to each other in the movie, but all right. Well, Pokemon music is playing in the background. We're playing Harry Potter. <laughs> Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. You have a weird ass right. sack on your head, but alright. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Yes, please. Hufflepuff, way better. Anybody, Hufflepuff? This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Move. Yes, we yep, we know. Well, that's because apparently a lot of people from England are actually voice acting this. Because, of course, it is stationed uh, in England. Awesome! Another Hufflepuff. Next! Gryffindor's mainstream. Slytherin, well, we know. <laughs> Ravenclaw. Don't really hate those. Of course, I don't hate any house, but... Go to the city. Ah, you. Wreck! Go away, Pete, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. Wrecked. <laughs> Wrecked by a ghost. You want to watch out for Peeves? The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Then just banish him from the castle. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly. We are the only three here. <laughs> So we are the only three uh, sorted into Hufflepuff, huh? Oh, <laughs> well, Turbo, <laughs> Slytherin, nah, man, Hufflepuff. That's where it's at. Everybody wants to be in Hufflepuff. Oh no. It's her. We are the only three! <laughs> password. You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. You look so dead in your eyes, Harry, well, but done, well. That is indeed the correct well, there are a callback for to me for my childhood as well. And I have four Thanks, of them. <laughs> I know, right? It was awesome. And I do have that one as well, so. I said it! <laughs> I was the one that said it! Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Are we in first grade? <laughs> yes, little one. You got that password right. Sorry, Fred and George set up a shop. You can try all kinds of things with them. The spells are really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other In side. In the dungeons. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. That's exactly the same as in uh, Chamber of Secrets. 
<laughs> exactly the same. Yup. <laughs> Sneak, press forward, gently on the control stick. No! This, this is exactly the same. Match. Ah! <laughs> Take snout. Easy. Hogwarts like to use paintings, though. <laughs> there are a lot of paintings. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of. How do they already know him? They've Everything never seen him before. Or at least the, uh, the these guys didn't. Ron did, of course, at train station. And as a special bonus, for just ten beans, you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow! I've got to try this. It sounds like yeah. Nice, but then you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look <laughs> around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. I'm just gonna take it because I'm Harry Potter. That's right. Yeah. I'm the most powerful wizard. Watch this. Oh, didn't even create my final magic yet. Yeah. Watch out. That's right. Ah, these things. They were really fun to stick around with. It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I or just to throw around to at random students or uh, teachers <laughs> in this game, <laughs> literally. Dung bombs? How much are they? It'll cost 20 beans. You can use dung bombs to play some great pranks. Just make sure you get out of the way before they explode. How strong are they? If they're not actual bombs, then I'm disappointed. <laughs> Come on, it's the Harry Potter world. Limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. You know they're just it's just candy, right? How much is the Edgar Struga? The beans are not really gonna do beans. much in the word or world. You know. Well, I suppose we'll try this. Dung bombs. I got some explosives. <laughs> Yes, to give to you. How much is the Edgar Struger card? It'll cost Actually, in the second game, I think there was also a card here. I think, but I see that we cannot actually enter them this time. Oh man! Oh, but it's here. All right, there you go. A wizard card. A wizard card. Well, you look healthy. Chauncey Oldridge, 1342 to 1379, first known victim of Dragon. Oh yeah, you want to remember because of that. Yep, I'm the first that caught the deadly disease. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Yeah, that because they, that's what you want, right? So you can probably carry more. Is that it? Huh? Yeah, that's right. I have a feeling uh, 50 beans is actually max. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can clearly see that these games were for the younger uh, people, of course. Well, hello there. Ha <laughs> ha! What up? Uh-oh. <laughs> Harry Potter snake. Ain't gonna catch him. Weak. Already tired. Come on. We just got here. Also the same. Oh. Secrets. Beans! Probably a million years old, but you know. 
have been left here for a reason. Nice. Who's going to be? Albert Weffling. Alright. Nice. You even had those. Once again, why were the only ones here? Entire Gryffindor contains of four people. Well, six. Because, of course, we have uh, Ron's two brothers as well. So, uh, Ron. What up, man? I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. Oh, is there? Ah, uh, yes. Follow my perfect hair. Perfect hairline. Uh, which one's mine? Well, I suppose we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. No, not like that. What? Mm. Already did that, right? Oh, there you go. End night. Just saying. So it is basically the same kind of game as the second one. Only story is different. And probably some mechanics are different. There we go. So I don't really know if there's going to be a full playthrough, but basically the uh, place where I get my uh, the game for emulator added a lot more games, and I found this, so I was just like, well, got to play that. I have to play it. Lost copy of Magical Terry of Albert Waffling. Could be anywhere in the ground I'd found. Please return to this Gnostic board. But, you know, what if I don't want to? What? Gotta destroy pottery to get beans. Nice! What? Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. No. I already know where it is. Booga flavor. Nice! not somewhere around here, right? Oh, well. You're not letting me off this that easy with that book. Alright, alright. Nice! What are you guys doing here? The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. There's more to life than Quidditch, care. you know. Oh, really? Quidditch is actually the aw most awesome thing in the entire Harry Potter universe. Have to say. Won the championship on the DS more than five times. Or not the DS, PlayStation 2. But more than five times, you know. Gotta say. Had the Firebolt, had the final team, you know. Easy. <laughs> so, uh... There we go. Yeah. My elevator is not yet here. Yeah, Ron, you're following me. <clears throat> it's supposed to be. Ooh, flavor. Still nice. <laughs> Hufflepuff, there we no, go. No. You'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Why are you looking at me like that? And what is Harry doing? What are you doing? Hey, all right. Well, that happened. <laughs> but what collection? It is. Wizard card. Who is it this time? Cassandra Publisky. Oh, nice. <laughs> I suppose. Whoop. Entrance hall. 
So do we have uh, the house points as well in this game, or are they actually? Oh, there you go. There are in the game. Good. What? Well, I was floating there. What's up? Hop up. I do hope the voice is actually loud enough for people to hear. That the music is not overblowing. Yes. We already know that Snape is going to take away points. It's obvious. <laughs> and that's the only thing Snape does. He will take points from Gryffindor. This is how it is. Dungeons. And Harry never returned. That's end game. There you go. We're done. Yep. Wrapped up, everybody. Double potion with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favors them. We'll be able to see if it's true. Well, hello there, guys. It's true, then. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <laughs> if my name is funny, do you? Yes. No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find Rick. out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz oh. Ten-year-old roast. What up? And we're dead. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of as there is little foolish one way to be there. Many of you will hardly believe that this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of the softly simmering cold of these shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquid that creeps through human veins, the witch in the mind, and snare of the sea. I can teach you how to bottle with fame, blue glory, even stop a death. If you want to take a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan World healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Alright, let's do that! Wigan tree bark. Failure will be severely punished. The base again? <laughs> what I is that? Good, I'm probably the only one that actually hears it now. First ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potion lesson. It's defense against the dark arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. That was it? Really? Really? Well, we all know what's going to happen here. Time to lose some points. Class dismissed, Mr. Potter. Oh. Boring. Come oh, on, man. I was expecting us a roast. No? Nothing. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. Why do lessons in real life not go this fast? You walk in, you hear some stuff. Do that, done. <laughs> Ooh, 
Why is it not that easy? Tell me, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me. Damn! Armini's fast! He's ready. <laughs> Poor Ron isn't. I'm ready. What's up, Jenkinson teacher? I do, man. Welcome. Here we go. Beep. Come on, Harry. Professor Quirrell's waiting. Yes, 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 yes. He will be waiting. <laughs> so. Oh. Yep, it was something, alright, it was something. But a good call back though. It's an awesome game. Damn! Got an entire stack! A We're rich! Card pack. We're rich! Jocunda Sykes. <laughs> Montague Knightley. Roland Keg. Nice. Pengus to Woodcroft. Harry Potter. That's creepy! How am I already in a wizard card? They are selling pictures of a ten-year-old child. <laughs> I just made it a lot worse, didn't I? <laughs> it's a child's game. I'll just leave it at that. Who's having a stroke? Literally, the entire layout is just the same as in 2. There we go! Hufflepuff! I just got a pack, but alright. <laughs> yes, lay your hands on those spikes. <laughs> Still don't know the reason why they made a door like that, but all right then. So who's as are we gonna kick first? <laughs> While well, we have beautiful initial D music in the background. Ah, that one. And he's dead! Let's go! I'm ready. Let's kick some ass! Go kick some ass! Neville was not a smart kid. In the first couple of years, that is. I think after five, he actually, or at least in five, he took it seriously, for once, <laughs> and wrecked shop in the end. So, there you go, we we're already here, huh? Floyd Brutti, following one. Alright, alright, alright. Not really much you can do now against them, at least. You guys! Again! Scribs. That way. Uh, chest. A cauldron cake! But I don't need that right now, but, but alright. Let's see, is there anything behind here? Ca ca camera? There you go. Well, I suppose there's one thing we can do. One thing. <laughs> no. You gotta go over here. 
You thought I was gonna uh, jump off, right? Huh? Huh? Got you there! So maybe I will actually do a playthrough of this. Then maybe do a switch uh, through playthrough. One time Zelda, one time Harry Potter, and then after that, go on. But because, of course, for some people, the games, they don't like them. I can completely understand. But I have so many games downloaded right now. Uh, Pre-downloaded from the for the emulator that I can basically go through the entire month. So yeah, <laughs> so of course the other game comes out, Necro Power Volume Three, that I will play on hopefully the day it gets released. We have the chance. Oh, nice! I got damaged out of nowhere. He's not yet awake again. Whoop, there you go. Yeah, what up? Yeah. Huh? Now you're my turv. That's a challenge, Mr. Potter. You need to kill them all for the highest grade. Of course, some people do have that, uh, that problem. I'm not joking about that problem, but... Still, come on now. <laughs> He's taking it a little bit too far. Oh, oh now we cannot even go there. This one I never actually understood. Can you go back to these challenges and actually, when you have more spells, do them again? Because as you can see, there were already two places that you need something else for. Well. Nice. <laughs> huh, what do we need to do? That's a difficult one. There you go, because of course, sadly, I don't do anything else than games. So, of course, I cannot switch around with that. There you go. Yeah, I do car stuff, but... Don't think the car would fit in the room, <laughs> you know? So... Don't think that will work. Oh, actually, could have done some secrets uh, there. Well, no more secrets then. There we go. You again. Are they actually throwing, uh... Yup, they are actually throwing stuff at you. Alright, it's the same. Wrecked! He's just straight up dead. I know. Get over here! <laughs> Little thing. Imp. There we go. Now we have this one. Mmm. Marmalade. Well, it's something, I suppose. It's it's a flavor. We also hope we actually get to the other one. Where are the chocolate frogs, though? No chocolate frogs? No? What was the point of that? <laughs> there you go. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be. Nah, not really that important. Whoop. There we go. Using the spell from an angle, as it should be. See, it's probably timed. Or not. No, apparently not. Alright. Of course, we're not yet done. A pumpkin pasty. Just looks like a little small 
version of Bumpkin, but alright. There we go. That's handy. An owl treat. Is that what we actually need? Sniped! Weird as bass sound again. What? The world of Harry Potter has just opened up to us, ladies and gentlemen. What just happened? Harry Potter, the boy who can jump on imps and fly meters into the sky while not killing the creatures. So there you go. Noise. Another card. For some reason, there is al always one person on it. Eric the Oddball. Dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish or a hat. Well, if it's comfortable, we don't judge. <laughs> you know, we don't judge. As long as it's comfortable and you like it, you know. There you go. <laughs> It's actually going to be interesting if we're going to get a copyright claim on this game, specifically. Because I know for the music has got to be copyright claimed when we go to YouTube. It's obvious. Because actually, all the Lendo Zeldas, everything that I did from it, everything, every game that I played from Nintendo and had this music, or had this music in, got a copyright claim. Not that it really matters to me, but... Because I'm not making money out of the uh, things anyway. There you go. So I don't really care. But still. There we go. Lit. Where does he have to go though? Well. You didn't even call him, actually. How do you call a bird? And there he is. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my three chickens. They're gonna be... They're really close to actually coming out and we can, when we can pick them up. But still. Oh, now you just said... Now you said that week. Well, he's gone. Harry... You're on the shrooms again. We know, we know. And whoop. there you go. Because I want my three chickens. Because chickens are cool. Snipe! He's throwing books. So they just throw random stuff this time. Instead of actually their uh, insides. Of their nose, <laughs> you know. There we go. Where do y'all want to go? What? Bruh. You nor me. Get out of here. Zip. But I played uh, Harry Potter games. Literally every single day when I came home from school, when I was little. Because come on, you gotta say, these games are awesome when you're a kid. <laughs> well, we have some Phoenix Wright music in the background. Harry is learning the light spell. <laughs> Lupus. And of course, now we're going to see ghosts. 
There you go. Lupos. Wow, the Lupos stuff. Maybe I could use this to find my way out. That's not how it works, though, but alright. Works better if you do this. There you go. See? Works way better. Ah! <laughs> and the, whoop, the door is right over here. There you go. Strangely, you don't have any. Oh, did it again. Sorry. But we're not done yet. People are getting wrecked somewhere. Of course, I'm probably not the only one that actually is taking the challenge right now, but damn! People are getting wrecked! Actually, that's me! Alright, alright. So now I notice the special sound that comes with it. That is... Harry himself. So the game basically is uh, confused with basically what happens. Uh, well, actually, I can turn this to zero as well. The only thing that matters is the music. Hey, do Simpika. Long time not seen. Welcome. There you go. So basically, all the sound effects in the game are getting confused and they're throwing or just being activated through each other while you're just playing the game it seems that putting those things on zero did not really work all right doesn't really matter though because we're still playing Harry Potter yup it's a classic but I like it though I'm good! Thanks for asking. How are you? And beep, beep, beep. There you go. It's an awesome game. <laughs> ah, oh, Harry, where are you going? It's a Gryffindor after all. Awesome, awesome. And whoop. Shortcut. Well, actually, not shortcut. It's just the way to go. Secrets? Yeah, because he just called Hedwig, actually. <laughs> nice. Alright. Coffee. Not really a coffee person, but alright. Somebody likes it, of course. If I don't like it, that's just fine. There we go. There's another one. Why did, was, why did that turn red? Oh. Ah, there you are. Sup? Get back. Ow! <laughs> Actually, in the second game, they just uh, they don't really damage you that bad, but they actually take some stuff from you. Like rupees. Or rupees? What? There you go, like beans. Magic beans. Still in the Land of Zelda team, I see. While playing hard. Harry Potter, but all right. Dodged. There you go, and there you go. We're not done. And defeat him. Perfect. Because I still have three, uh, well actually four, but the fourth one is not really going to be a playthrough. Because that's not really 
that is nothing basically. Yeah, it is the championship of Cordage. One of my favorite Harry Potter games because I love that sport. Of course, not to do it because you can't. But to just see and to play it as a game. Because for some reason, all that magic and all the other stuff in Harry Potter, it was... It was fun. But when I saw that sport, I was so excited. That was basically the only thing why I watched. <laughs> for that, not even for all the magic and all the dueling and story. It was just... Are they going to play Gordich? That'd be awesome. <laughs> don't even know why, actually. It was just something I liked. Well, hello there. Oh, you. I remember you. There you go. Magic! But I completely forgot that uh, Harry Potter actually had a Phoenix Feather, though. I, s I legit thought he had a Dragon Heart String. But apparently I was wrong. Maybe I got confused. Probably. There we go. Secrets. Obvious secrets, but still secrets. Don't really need it, but well, it's nice. Probably actually really tasty too. So I have the feeling that's just a normal vanilla uh, muffin or something. There we go, and over here. Sadly, I also wanted to try to actually get two uh, two Kingdom Hearts games, but you actually need a PlayStation uh, 2 emulator for that, and you need the BIOS, basically the system the PlayStation 2 works on, you need to get that uh, legally. I do have a PlayStation 2, but sadly I cannot extract it, so we'll have to find something for that, because I do also really want to stream both Kingdom Hearts games, because those are awesome. Ah, come on, man. You're not that bad. Just candy. Come on now. Just candy. Secrets? Oh. Now I don't know if that's actually a secret or the way to go. Oh, yes, that's the way to go. <laughs> Aww. There's nothing over here. Aw, oh, man. I thought there was actually was something... Well there was something over there, right? There we go. But we cleared the first challenge. Game. Um. Game. Hello? Game? Where are you? Please? Game? Um... It's an awful long time to load, Gary Game. Got to say. Game. You're not gonna say that it actually crashed, right? <laughs> that, that would be something. Because now it's just at zero FPS and just dark screen. Um. Game.
Well, then I think I know what we're going to do, actually. While we're at it. Don't know if it will actually work, or is it actually if it is this one. Then we'll try to actually look at the... Oh, there we go. Yes, it is. Ha, 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 ha. That's loud. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry, that that's loud. Don't know how it actually looks on the, the GameCube graphics, though. Never saw. I don't, literally, the only thing I saw was the PlayStation version, but it's gonna be loud. So, I have to skip it. Because <laughs> I don't want to blow anybody's ears up. Alright, alright, the graphics are a little down. Pitch, or at least a little different. Well, then I will look, actually, will uh, change the title as well. Weird that the game just did not load anymore. Well, then I will look at that. At the end of the stream. Um, is there actually. Options. There we go. Sound is a little bit too loud. Alright. No change in the sound, I see. I already know special moves. They're not difficult. And what we actually do is... That is. Not turn it all the way down. Of course not. There you go. I know how to go to Hogwarts. And we already know what team I'm going to play! Hufflepuff! I know, Harry! Gryffindor? Nah. Nah. My boys! Hufflepuff! Yes! That's my house! Because I actually, once again, I did the test at Pottermore, for people that don't know what it actually is. It is uh, a page made from the creator of Harry Potter. It is where you can basically do uh, get in touch with the community. And of course, Ashley J.K. Rowling's herself. And basically, uh, can do tests like in what house you are. I'm in Hufflepuff. What uh, want do you have? What is your Patronus? And all that kind of stuff. And of course, more, but... So there you go. It's fun. And free. <laughs> and yep, we have to do those. That's the bad thing, I already know this. <laughs> Literally. We know, we know. Gotta go to the green one. Doesn't really matter. As long as you get them, it's fine. Literally, as long as it's fine, you're good. <laughs> it's true, though. It's just so you know how it works. Doesn't really matter. Nah, I'm really gonna save. There you go. Just continue. I did actually save with the DS version, but but this is actually the game that I think we're not really gonna do playthrough of because this is basically the only thing you do, not this, but uh, the tournament. Which team I'm going to play though? Scandinavia is good, or the Northern team. Japan is good. Germany is just fun to play as. French is also good. England, don't know. Never really played a lot of, uh, of them.
Nice. Get over here. There we go. Hey, hey. Score. Oh, the I already guys talk so much. I don't know. I know how it works. And of course, we got to start with uh, the Nimbus 2001 broomstick. Of course, now we have the basic uh, 2000 broomstick. Just because then we maybe have a challenge. Because if you go with the Firebolt, you, you actually need 50 uh, of these cards to get the Firebolt. But the Firebolt is hard mode, because they're basically uh, difficulties. And we're going with, because I think 2000 is easy, or the, basically the ones they're using. The real, real cheap one is easy, but we're going for uh, 2001, because that's maybe a little challenge. Because this game is easy, once you know how it works. Believe me. If you see how fast I play this game, then yeah. <laughs> I'm not, you're not supposed to play the game that fast, at least not how I do it. <laughs> but it, it's still fun though, it's still fun. Look at the little bird. I'm not gonna boost yet though, because first I need to power up my boost. Here we go! Man! Power up again a little bit. Of course, at one point you can actually not do this anymore, or else the other seeker will have to get close. Mm, at least if they have a chance. <laughs> Whoop! There you go! We just got one. Oh no, three uh, Quidditch cards. Alright. Are we gonna play our first match? Come on! Yes! Against Ravenclaw! Yes. Oh, 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 believe me. 300 points for me. Zero for you. Because <laughs> the points actually goes by 10, so if you score one, you get 10 points. Oh, Snowy. Nice. Love Buffer to win! Ravenclaw is also cool. Because they're blue. <laughs> But I'm a proud Hufflepuff now, because I've been chosen into the House of Hufflepuff, so there you go. How much choice we have there. The Gimme that! Huh. Quickly! So they won't even get a chance to tackle. Beep, beep. Score! Easy. Boop, boop. Ah, they got him. Of course, for some people, this is probably really boring. But for some reason, for me, it is awesome. I don't know why. Probably because childhood. You! Yeah. Fist bump. Of course, once we actually get special moves. Not now, of course. Because we're just doing basic, basic stuff. Right now. And also, the speed is a lot slower than in the actual uh, World Cup. Of course, because it's tutorial, basically. So it just ended quick. There we go. Because you need to get this bar all the way full. 
Then the snitch will appear. So there you go. And of course, the more, the bigger your bar is, the more boost you have. And of course, the the enemy won't have as much boost. So that's why I said if they at least get the chance to get near me, because most time they just don't have any boost to begin with. Quick point! <laughs> yeah! It's still weird why Harry Potter 1 just, it's just stopped. It didn't crash or anything, and it was actually still on the screen, but it was just zero frames and what you guys saw, just dark. <laughs> no ma no sound even played, so maybe the, um, the ISO is actually corrupted. Could be, of course, because it's not an original, original, shall we say. <laughs> Here we go. Come on! Of course, the enemy will eventually get a little more boost. As you can see, it push uh, went up a little bit. Because they will need a chance. That would be handy if they actually get a chance. There you go, and these will give you extra boost. But we got them! Hufflepuff with our first victory! Ah, boom. There you go. That's one thing I never understood. All the key gatekey or the uh, keepers actually... They're all... They all have red hair. All actually the same as well. Of course, Hufflepuff's are beautiful on this moment. Look at the points! <laughs> Perfect! Slytherin is next. Zero points for them as well. There you go, now we're gonna continue. Beaters and bludgers. Well, now we're gonna get into the interesting stuff. Probably why I also liked Cordage. Because it's um, the most dangerous sport in this entire universe. Because you can... you can... there are no rules. Of course, you're not allowed to use magic. But instead of that, there are no rules. So you can just kick somebody off their broom. Part of the game. <laughs> Literally. And that will happen. And this... Basically... Smashing a cannonball against somebody's head. They can take it. <laughs> Suppose. Here he comes! Ha ha! Score! Don't hit me! Ah! <laughs> it did hit me! Now I should just do this. There you go. Yeah, let's get the thing behind me then. Got him! Alright. Watch out. Turn around. And done. Basically how I defend uh, against the enemy too, when they do it. Because of course, I'm not the only one that can do it. The enemy can do everything that I can also do. And they will. Only a little less. I am a real aggressive Cordage player. When I get the chance, I will use every skill, basically this, and the other stuff you will soon know. Just because. It's fun. But of course, my apologies for the people that actually thought it was gonna be, uh... It was still... Was supposed to be the other, uh, game. The Philosopher's Stone, but the game at one point after the first challenge, it was just like, nah, don't want to work. 
And I just don't want to try and try and try while we're streaming. So we're just quickly going to move on to something else. Maybe that I can actually use this game for that. If something goes wrong, there you go. <laughs> Backup game. Now we're going to get to the specials. Those are fun. There we go. Ha ha! Skills. There you go. See which button I actually need for that. For the special, special skill. See, is it this one? No, so they're the upper ones. Alright. Give me that! Well, of course, I need to find out because I am used to the PlayStation version. Didn't do it though. Or can I not do it yet? Second match unlocked. Alright. Can we actually do it or not? Because I also I want to do the base and tick. Select special move, press R L to within the scoring zone to perform. There you go. So now it's opened up, right? Slytherin, let's go! Of course we opened up the special moves while we're gonna start against Slytherin. <laughs> Looked open up though. Up, up. Nah, slurring. But only uh, he is not nice. All the other ones are actually quite nice in the game. So, Whoop. there you go. Give me that! Went too fast there. But I got him! <gasps> yeah, you wanna do something? Sucker! Oh! So we're gonna play like that? Give me that! Yeah, that's right. Booyah! And out of here! Give me that! You're not gonna score. You better remember that well. I need my special moves though. I need my special moves. Oh, yes. I can knock something against somebody's head. Basically, I can knock a cannonball against somebody's head. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, nasty. It's not even a challenge. Basically, they should have on. Well, actually, the DS or the PlayStation version didn't have the Firebolt unlock yet. But maybe if the GameCube version actually have it unlocked, then I will uh, use that one. So basically, hard mode, or else it would just basically be this: zero for enemy, all the points for me. Literally. Because it's it's not a difficult game. Come on, can I do it now? He doesn't do it! What? Why do, are you not doing it? That's no fun. I do the there we go. Face and tick! Less one of the three. Alright, so I was hitting the wrong button all the time. Alright. Gimme! Woo! Woo! Let's finish this off. Slither in, you're going down. Skills! To pay the bills. 
<laughs> so of course, if I need to play through the game again, uh, the Philosopher's Stone game, to that point, then I will just to test it out because maybe it's just uh, could also be wrongly installed, of course, because I was rapidly downloading a lot of ESOs to the emulator, so it could be that. Hey, Slytherin! <laughs> Skills! <laughs> ah! Alright, so we only have one skill then. The basin tick, I think. Yeah, the basin tick is the only one we have yet. Alright. Basin tick is actually my favorite one to do though. But it is random the ones you do. There's only one thing that I uh, don't yet get in this game, and that is rapid fire passing. Yeah, I my own version of rapid fire passing. Too bad, because I know how to turn. <laughs> Got him. Come on, Slytherin. Thought, you know... Maybe a challenge? Look at that. You're just as bad as Germany in this game. And not just saying because it's Germany. But that team is horrible. If you are not playing it. The AI for some reason... It is pro-ranked in one setting. And that setting is easy and brainless. And I once again not trying to offend German people. But... Oh boy, that team. It's not good. It's just not good. Of course, it is changed uh, when you are playing it, because then it's not the AI program that is controlling it, but still. <laughs> I don't know who I'm actually going to play as. Because I've already played as Japan and Nordic teams. So maybe England or France. Those are fun. USA, not really my uh, theme. Australia too. And Bulgaria, we don't have one, uh, that one yet. Because you need 16, uh, 60 cards. Come on! But I think you can... Uh, I can say without a doubt that this game is my most played game on the PlayStation 2 by far and I don't know why because this is all you do <laughs> there's no story this is it and of course this is just a tutorial but still see look what they're doing again two redheads Ravenclaw had also had a redhead and I know for... No, actually, Gryffindor Skeeper has brown hair. But in this game, it's also redhead. <laughs> Why did I actually do that? Press A to continue. Can you guys see A? I cannot see it. Where, where's A, guys? See? You cannot see it. <laughs> Hufflepuff leading with 500 points. I know that obvious. What's up? There you go, he's the keeper. Combos. Because there's only one thing I need to learn. Combo uh, button, shoot, action pass, broomstick control. There's one thing I still want to learn, but I have a feeling we're actually going to use the special special. Yeah, that one. But I one thing, I want to learn to rapid fire pass. 
Because this is not the rapid fire passing. Actually, yes, it is. Try double tapping to volley. There we go. Because those, these are the combos. Of course, they look a little bit more spectacular on the PlayStation 2, but it's GameCube, ladies and gentlemen. GameCube. Don't care. We pass. <laughs> Penalties. Our window. You will pass, so you'll continue. Let's go. All right. So Gryffindor, and then it is time for the cup, the World Cup. Finally. Then we're gonna go a little faster in speed, hopefully. Because I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, but I think the uh, the PlayStation 2 is uh, stronger than the GameCube was, right? Looking at how this looks, looks a little downgraded. But of course, maybe that's because this one came first and then on the PlayStation 2. So it just had to be, it just got an upgrade because it got re-released. How you doing, Harry? So how does it feel, huh? To be the one that this time will not catch the snitch. And your team will not even gain any points! Nothing. <sighs> <laughs> Easy. Rapid fire combo! There we go! So it does look a little better. That is what I want to do. That is so handy to know. After 10 years. Well, actually, 11 by now. I now know <laughs> how to do it. Probably because I'm now uh, much older. So I actually look at what I have to do instead of... Uh, yeah, I just, I just just do it. I, want, I wouldn't do it. That's it. <laughs> hey, Gryffindor, look at this. Got you toy. What up? Ah, tricks. I want to get my special, uh, the Hufflepuff special, though. The team special. So let's just get this. Oh, no, it's not a special move. It's not the one I mean. It's just a basement tick again. I don't really care about that one. I want the Hufflepuff special move. That one's cool. Get over here! Woohoo! Actually, get it to halfway then. There you go. We're gonna win anyway. It's probably why this is uh, so slow. Because you need. Oh, there you go. Team special move. Alright. Ooh, what's that button? What is that button? There you go. It's just as uh, the play PlayStation version then. All right, good. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Wrecked, but we're not done. What up? Gonna say the Ravenclaw one is a little cooler though, because they actually get uh, blue and white smoke behind their brooms and they basically swoop in like uh, ravens and kick everybody off their brooms <laughs> I forgot to mention that <laughs> alright time to rep fire this again let's finish this off so we can actually go to the world cup Nah, it isn't really that strong. I took it back right away. 
Come on, Gryffindor. Come on, Gryffindor. Come on, Gryffindor. There we go. Too bad you were the one that had to take it, though. Wrecked. And you actually get a lot more fields instead of just this one. Have to do it! I have to use that special. Just have to. It's cool to use. Darn it. Didn't do it. Give me my basin tick! Thank you. Fricked! Did the enemy team actually get across that line over there? So sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That you have to see this massacre. Didn't know Wood could actually bounce that well, though. Do have to say that. I don't think Wood can actually bounce that well. But alright. Ah, oh, Daisy Bell. I remember that character. Of course, as a little kid, I was playing Gryffindor all day. There you go. It's time to finish this off. So, Harry, how does it feel, huh, to get smoked by my broom? Got him. Oh, come on, just pick it up. There you go. Nice! Gotta be redhead again, is it? Oh no, not this time, huh? Not this time! Alright! So at least they didn't make that mistake there! There we go. It's not even that big of a team, actually. That's it. If you think about it, that's not a big team. One with 270 points. From a Gryffindor. They only had one safe and nothing else. Painful. Painful. Look at Gryffindor. Only 90 points. Ravenclaw 200, Slytherin 900, or 390. Sad, but here we go. We're gonna play as though England, America, Japan, Germany, France, Australia, Nordic team, Spain, and we need 65 cards for these. I already played this, uh, and I already played Japan before, so those are already out of the game. England, and I don't like USA, Germany, France, or Spain, or Australia. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't. I just know. I want to show you guys how bad the AI is for Germany, so I'm not gonna choose Germany. France. Kind of good, but of course the AI has some changes. So, France basically uses a lot of specials, if they get the chance. <laughs> and they don't. Spain, they are good with attacking and uh, wombo combo passing. I think I'm actually going... Yeah, I'm going with England. We're going home team, and that's the Kama 260. Oh boy. Kama, trading company's finest racing broom. Starting to show its age, yet still an extremely fast style model and a great first broom. But it has uh, a little side effect. It actually turns to the right uh, on its own sometime. Nimbus 2000. 
one of the Nimbus Racing Broom company's most successful models. Highly reliable with good speed and exceptional handling. Not for beginners. Ah oh, man, 35 cards required. Nimbus 2001, my favorite. The top of the Nimbus Racing Broom Company's ra range. Capable of previously unseen speed and control, a world class broom and of course the Firebolt. But you need 50 for those. State of the art Racing Broom, the Firebolt has unsurable balance and pinpoint precision. Aer aerodynamic perfection. But sadly I completely forgot this. So we do have to go with the Nimbus 2000, sadly. Alright, our first round is against France. In our own team, our own uh, field. Of course you guys are uh, rooting for England. Because that's also a funny easter egg. Sometimes if you go against England, they will actually not be on your side, but on England's side. And that's obvious, because Hogwarts is inside England. So of course they would be rooting for their own country. There you go, the Scandinavian or Nordic team coach. And here we go. It's not that fast though. Where's the speed in this? Guys, there we go. At least they got one pass. <laughs> Woohoo! No. Got him! Actually, I remember something that I wanted to try out a long time. There we go. They're actually getting it across. Oh! Oh! Aha, too bad. I want to try something out. It's going to be awesome. Are we close enough yet? Yes, we are. Darn it! Don't take my throttle! Yer I want to try something out! No! Not that. Basically, by uh, what I want to try out is wombo comboing that. But at one point, hit the score button instead of the pass button, and he will kick the ball instead of just throw it casually like this. Got him! Alright, we're gonna play a little more aggressive. Let's see. Less dicking around, a little more aggressive. But once again, for some people, this is probably the most boring thing they've ever seen. I can understand. There we go, we have unlocked the other ones as well. Ooh, yeah. Chip. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I already scored. Tricky dicky. And of course, France only contains of uh, uh, females. And that's of course obvious because that's also in uh, movies and books. And hop. Using all the tricks up my sleeve. Ain't no stopping me from wombo comboing. Maybe I should actually play ahead a little bit. So I can actually get the uh, 2001 broomstick. Because that one is way better than this one. Because this is basically easy mode. The Firebolt is ultra hard mode. And then of course you have the Comet. That is easy, easy mode. That is just uh, if you're 
uh, two years old, basically. And just want to hit buttons instead of actually playing. And I want to at least have some challenge. I I, I'm happy, though, that I finally know how that works. No, the snitch is literally, uh, it's up there, but... Hey! Ow! Trying him nuts! Get uh, back here. There you go. Kicked her away. She ain't getting near my throttle. Give me back! My ball. Long range! Aww. See, and Germany would actually be slow enough to let that pass. And I think that's actually... Nah, maybe Australia. I don't know for sure though, but I know for sure that it was... Well, Spain. Spain too. But I know for sure Germany was one of them. That is too slow to actually get that. Germany does have an interesting team special though. Certainly special. And their sarcasm. Because they're really full of themselves while they know. Yeah, they're not really gonna go far in this tournament. So it's also here, huh? For some reason. My. One of my. Why is my. Controller off. I changed batteries not even a week ago. But for some reason, sometime, uh, if an enemy will actually fly against you with a broomstick, the entire field will be basically dragged with that person, her hitbox, and will be dragged to the side for just a, for just a couple seconds, and then the entire thing just goes again, like nothing happened. But I don't know why. That's literally in every version. Oh. Nobody. And I say nobody is going to score in my goal. <laughs> Not while we are on easy mode. Where is that thing going? What are you doing? Alright, let's get some points up in here because there are combo up. Oh. There you go. Because they got rid of the plunger. Because now it's my turn. Wrecked! Uh oh. We have to team special. Well, if I do if they do team special, then I'm forced to let them score. So then I cannot really do anything. Don't you dare! Use your team special. I will do everything so you cannot get the chance. Because most of the time they'll actually do the team special once they're over the halfway line. So as long as that will not happen, we're safe. So I'm just doing this. <laughs> get more boost. And basically with that end the game or the match for today. <laughs> no! Duh! There you go, because they're not allowed to use any moves once the, uh, they get attacked. Like that. Here we go again! You're not going to score! Got that. <laughs> Come on, almost. There we go. Look at that. That's their boost. So, uh, how's that little boost over there? Uh, look at all my power. But as you can see, it does grow because, or else they wouldn't have any chance. Not that they have anyway. Come 
Man! Got him! She's actually the only smart one that uses a helm, helmet and glasses. Special air glasses so no wind or anything gets in your eyes while you're chasing the snitch. She's literally the only one that does that. And I don't know why. Look at that. Beautiful. Marvelous. Exquisite. Seven saves though. One shot and special move. Oh yeah, when they wanted to kick me out. Alright, so Germany got 180. Bulgaria got... Bulgaria is basically the one you will go into the finals. That's always the same. You will, I think, in total you will have 18 rounds. And that's your entire tournament. Uh, Bulgaria is always going to be the one you will go to the final with. Always. No question. Because those are basically, those are the bad, the bad guys, basically. Because in book 4 of Harry Potter and in the movies, you will actually see the Cordage World Cup against uh, Ireland and Bulgaria. And then Bulgaria is the one that wins. And of course, you are the main protagonist in this game, so you need to be them. They have an awesome field, though, I gotta say. Looks cool. Oh boy. Germany in their home field. I am so sorry, Germany. I am so sorry. You have to see this, huh? Already. So sorry. This will be the last one, though, looking at the time. But we're, of course, we're gonna finish this. And I'm actually, I will be looking into the game. Because I want to play the, the Fluff of Stone one. Yeah. Got him. Uh, ain't happening. Got him. There you go. I think that's a female. Yes, that's a female player. I'm trying to remember them. The only female players I, England has is, I think, the Seeker and one that uh, kick or punches the cannonball thing around. Don't know for sure though. Yeah, I already saw her. He has short black hair and also actually uh, glasses for against the wind. It's her. <laughs> Come on Germany. Come on Germany. Ah, oh, Germany. They tried. Ah, oh, they stole the throttle. People are probably thinking that I'm trying to trigger Germany right now. I'm not, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's the AI that sadly chose Germany to be the team that will always lose. And will always basically score the least. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I mean. That is way too far away to be a goal. The keeper is not even fast enough to get that. Come on now. You gotta say. And I think Germany and Spain too, but I don't know for sure. Those two are the only one that actually get that. Look at that. Come on, man. That's pathetic. Booyah! <sighs> Whoop. But that's what I mean, uh, that this is not going to be a playthrough. Or an actual playthrough playthrough, because this is just, this is what you do now. 
you go against all the teams two times in your own field and in their field. And those are all together 18 rounds. And with that, if you are the first or second one in the team or just have the most points, you will just win. That's it. And then you go restart again with the cards that you have and basically kind of lock different moves and different uh, one different team. A little bit sad that Ireland was not in this though. Would have been perfect. Setting up Ireland uh, against Bulgaria in the final round. And of course you unlock better broomsticks that I actually want to do. Just because this is way too slow and way too easy. Of course the 65 one uh, is not going to work, the Firebolt. Uh, I need 54. Those will be a couple uh, World Cup plays. I think two or three. And then I can unlock that one. But of course those are three time 18. So that will, yeah, that will take a while. Here we go! Base of tick 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 truck. See, that was not even a keeper. <laughs> that was a normal passer that actually got that ball, not even the keeper. So maybe it's just it's not really the entire team but just the keeper that is just bad. But they do have fun specials though, so if they have a team special, I will actually let them do it. Because it's a cool special. I like it. It's just it's goofy. Alright, we're gonna get to 150 and then we're gonna end this. Just so if they get the snitch, it will be a tie. Because you get 150 points if you catch the snitch. Of course, the chances are really low the, uh, the opposite team will actually get the snitch. But you never know. Magic happens. So I'm not going to take the risk. But if you look at how many boosts they got... And how many I have. Ah. Went for that one. Shouldn't have gone down for that one. And it was also fun playing this with my friends. For me at least it was fun. <laughs> Because literally, they have never seen this game before. I just uh, teach them the basics. Let them play against each other first. Basically, it was just what they did was this. Not even actually scoring. It was just this. Doing that and then just go after the snitch. And who got the snitch would just get 150 points and win after that. Uh, but then they were going to play against me. They were done with this game fast. And I'm not even being sarcastic. But of course, they have never seen it before and I have played it so many times. So many times. Your boost is way too much there, uh, sir. Ah. Give me. Oh, team special move. Yes. Come on. Do your team special moves. It's funny. There we go. Let's look at their faces after this. That must hurt. But look at their faces. <laughs> They're so happy. <laughs> They've done something. They done actually done something. Ah, my nuts! I can do that too, you know. 
Don't you forget that. Booyah! From above. But it's just like I had to let them do it. Don't know if I have my special team one unlocked already. Maybe I first need to do uh, play halfway and then I actually unlock it. Don't know for sure though. But let's finish this off. It's time. So I gave Germany 20 points for free. How about that? See, I'm a nice person. <laughs> While I kick somebody in the nuts. No, quick pass is this. Oh, that would have been awesome. That would have hit. Wanted to be sneaky there. Ha! That one did. Oh yeah. Give me a. The snitch has appeared. Let's go. So close! Don't uh, you worry. God. Boop. They're so motionless. <laughs> we won! Two cutter ditch cars won. German stadium unlocked. As if you go play with friends, but I have a feeling with the emulator that will not work. Rematch, yeah, right. <laughs> They're doing the rematch, huh? They want the rematch. I don't. I don't really care. Whoa. So we got 16 Cordage cards. Now we have 18. And we need to get... 35 for the Nimbus 2001. So which team are we going to play next in the future? See, there you go. Bulgaria already there. We're on the exact same points, actually. Alright, alright. USA, zero points. Damn, USA. Australia! Going against the United Kingdom, basically. Alright, United Kingdom is turning against himself. But ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for today's stream. I know, it was supposed to be Harry Potter Part 1, or basically Book 1, or Game 1. But at some point it just didn't load anymore, it just went black, and that was it. It just went dark, and that was done. So, but I will try to look at though, and maybe you can also just delete it and just reinstall it again. Maybe that was the problem. Because I was hyper downloading ESOs with this game, all the four other Harry Potter games and some other games, just pumping them in the emulator. So maybe that could also be the problem. But ladies and gentlemen, if I have it fixed, tomorrow we're back with the game. And of course, I will play to the point that we left it off at. And if I didn't get it fixed, then we'll have to go to another game. Sadly. But it doesn't really matter, though. They're all fun. They're all enjoyable. Of course, they're old school. So I don't expect a lot of people to be really there for... Yeah! This game! But I don't care, you know? If I enjoy it, and if some people enjoy it, done. I'm fine with that. So ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you have a beautiful evening. And a, had a beautiful stream, or awesome stream, or just enjoyable stream. It doesn't matter. As long as you had a good time, I'm good. Ladies well, and gentlemen, see you guys tomorrow. Maybe not the same game. Not this game, though. It's probably going to be a game for myself. And if it's needed, maybe for the big, big stream, so we can do it. But, ladies and gentlemen, do hope you have a beautiful evening once again. See you guys tomorrow. No fading out this time. <gasps>